Hey guys, Big Winner 589 here, here with the Hauntober 2018 tour reviews. So today we're here in Cranstrad Iron to see this haunt right here behind me called Haunted Labyrinth. It's a charitable haunt. I'm ready to go in and get frightened. This year's theme, Alice in Wonderland. Are you guys are ready to go down the rabbit hole? I am. Here I go. That's a great guess, but incorrect. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it out of Haunted Labyrinth. We made it out of the rabbit hole. Surprisingly, Alice is very graceful and she let me out. She didn't She didn't give me any problems. She said, go, and I left. So uh, we got some reviews for you guys, some ratings here. We're gonna start off with creep value. Creep factor is very important because when you get something creepy, it sticks with you for the rest of the night. You had that thought, you had that image, and that's what it is. What they describe when you go through here is that it's very disoriented and disorienta disorientation is very creepy and is very prominent in this place. Like there's doors that lead to nowhere. There is there is a mirror room that you go through and you you don't know where you're going. You're, you have to put your hands on the wall to try and find it. And the one thing I absolutely dread when I go to haunts and makes me dizzy every time is that vortex tunnel. I I get that vortex tunnel. I say the same thing every time. Like oh come on, because I get dizzy immediately when I do that. And that thing is. Wow. So if I had to give that guys a creep value rate, a creep value a rating, it would definitely be a solid four out of five, guys. It's really good for a creep out. One of the other things we talk about is scare value. Is 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 how frightening is it? It's it, and it's one of the things that's very important to me. It's like, are you going through? Are you completely frightened to the point where you can't go go through the whole thing, or are you going through it and you're like, hmm? I would say one of the things that stand out and um is that. I hear a lot of screaming when I go through. I want I want the people to kind of interact with me, which is fine. But that's the only critique I have. But it was great though. A lot of the actors, they have their point, their setup, their area, and they have everything done correctly. They're coming at you the right angle. They're scaring you the right spots. It definitely gets a three out of five for that. It's really good. I'm really surprised at how good they did. Makeup, scenery, and props. That is probably one of the things that really stand out above this whole review. That, that scenery, everything, they're extremely detailed, especially when you go through like the scenes with the doors. Like I said, the doors I like, described in creep out value. The doors are really creepy because there's like seven, or I kind of, I couldn't keep count. I lost count of my hands. But uh, there's so many doors to go through and you try to open one and you're literally like going through nothing. There's a brick wall. Go through another one, there's a scare person there. Go to another one, there's nothing. I think when it comes to scenery, they get a solid four out of five for that. The scenery is great. Now, again, when it came to this, this rating too, when it came to price, price is kind of another thing when it comes to haunts. You don't want to like pay upwards until like $30, $40 for a haunt just to go through and not, be not expect much. This place is goes to charitable cause. It goes to charity. And I think that the price is well worth it when you go through. Even if you give more to help out the charity, it's worth it. It gets a five out of five for price. Overall rating, guys, when it comes down to it, Haunted Labyrinth is a good place to go. It's very family friendly. It's a small haunt. It, it, for what I understand, it's in a gymnasium, a basketball court. So it's, it's built in that small area, and it's really good to see how much you put into it. I would say it gets a solid three and a half out of five. It's very good uh, for a small haunt and a charitable haunt. All right, I'm here with Joe. He is the owner of Haunted Labyrinth. I'm glad to come do an interview with him because you guys have an awesome setup this year. I the first time coming here and I gotta say I'm I'm surprised. Like I saw Alice in Wonderland theme, I said, you know, this is one of the things I've written down on a script many times that I can never put into action. You just did it for me. You put it into action. So I gotta ask, how long has your cha your charity haunt been open for overall? Uh, this year marks thirty four years. So every year we have a specific theme, um, nothing's ever repeated. So we thrive off creativity and design. Yeah, 34 years is pretty good for charitable. I imagine you guys do good for your charity. And that's that lines up to the next question. What did you, what's your charity go for? What do you, what, what do you, what, what's your charity for? Um, all proceeds benefit this uh, Rejoice and Hope Youth Center. So um, throughout the year, um, this center is used for retreats, um, you know, uh, youth sporting. It um, just gives the youth a place to come and, you know, have fun throughout the year. And, uh, you know, parishes can rent out buildings, um, the building, some rooms. So one of the things I, I'm always curious about when I talk to different haunts is what, what inspiration do you draw from some of your scenes and sets when you make them? Like, what are some of the inspirations you have? Um, so I have a team of builders, there's about 14, 15 people, and we start a meeting um, once a month in March. So March, April, May, June, we meet and brainstorm and design. Um, you know, our very first meeting, we come up with a list of crazy ideas, 
and uh, try to figure out how to implement that into an entire theme. So the inspiration is, is from the minds of, you know, about 15 very creative people. Yeah, inspiration is very important when it comes to haunts. Like I said, when you get multiple people coming up with ideas, it actually makes it good for the haunt because you can have one person with one idea like, oh, what if that goes there? And someone's like, no, what if this goes here? And they're like, I like that better. That's great. Now, I got to say, one of my favorite scenes for me by far has to be the mirror scene you guys have. That mirror scene was so disorienting when I went through. Like, I literally, like, I'm looking at one end, I'm seeing another end, I'm seeing double. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. What is one of the favorite scenes this year that stands out to you? Um, I actually like the mirror scene too, but if I had to pick a, a very close second, um, it's going to be the dark forest with all the, uh, the black lights, the Jabberwocky, and those creepy rabbits. Yeah, that creepy rabbit was pretty good. He, he, he did a good role. I, I wasn't expecting him to move at first, and he yeah. started moving. I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah. okay, well, I guess that's, that, that's a live actor. All right. All right what, what was that? Where do people, where do people go to, uh, to volunteer to help this haunt out? Um, so there's a permission slip that you can find on our website, hauntedlabyrinth.com. Um, you can also get it off Facebook, facebook.com slash hauntedlabyrinth. Um, you can pick them up here. Um, you can call us. We'll get that permission slip to you. Um, and the good thing is if you volunteer here, scaring um, a lot of kids in high school need community service hours. This counts as community service being a nonprofit. So come scare the crap out of people. Get your hours done. We'd love to have you. There you go, guys. You want to help out, grab the permission slip, go online, find it, do it. It's fun. I tell you what, Haunter for five years, and when I scare someone, it makes me feel good about myself. And sometimes, you know what? It takes the frustration out just to hear someone scream. And that, that when I hear that in the background, the screams, the stress is gone. So, guys, this is Joe from Haunted Labyrinth. I really enjoyed this haunt. You guys saw the review. You saw the uh, the ratings and everything. If you like that video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. And get wait, ready for some more. We have some more haunts coming your way.